Hello, my sewing friends. This is Friday Sews. Woohoo! I'm Jen and this is my sewing room. So this is Friday Sews. Let's get straight to the sewing because I have a lot to tell you about. And I have solved my shoe problem, which I'll tell you about later in the video. Okay, starting off with um, this little uh, yellow dress. This is a peach skin that I found at SR Harris when I was up there last September. And the pattern is McCall's 3537 from 1988. I like, um, I liked view E, which is the pink one up here with the little collar and the tucks down the front. And uh, I got it almost completely finished. Tried it on last night and it's funny because I put it on and I know it's a dress from the 1980s. I love this decade. I put it on and I thought, well, what did you expect it to look like? It looks like 1988. <laughs> it truly does. The fabric feels amazing. And I like the color on me, actually. I love the white against the yellow. I like the elasticized waist and I love these front tucks. I think they're just beautiful and they turned out beautiful. The caveats, uh, the collar comes up a little high for me and I would like for it to come out a little wider. So more, actually almost where the bottom of the collar is, I'd like for it to come out, not quite that far, but about half that far. And the little uh, grown on sleeve, the extended shoulder here, it's, it sticks out on me like that and I am not fond of that. Now there is a version of this where you can put cuffs on those sleeves um, in view D. And I think maybe if I did that, that might really help. This is just a, um, I think it's a crepe back satin that I had in my stash. And since it's all polyester, I thought that it was fine. Uh, I'm not sure about the elastic waist. Um, and that could have to do with the belt. And you really do need to wear this with a belt because uh, there's an elastic casing that you see. Uh, and I think maybe if it had a two inch belt, it might be okay. This is, uh, well, I mean a proper belt. Um, that might be all right. I tried it on with a wide elastic belt, another wide elastic belt that wasn't quite as wide and they just, I don't know, it didn't work. What I thought I might do is just take that elastic out of the casing and just make it a plain, you know, pull it in with a belt, but don't have the elastic in there. Except I'm not, I don't know, it might not make any difference, but I left the casing open. So if I wanted to just pull the elastic out and try it, I could always put it right back in. So um, those are the main two issues with this. The skirt is not as full as what it appears to be on the envelope, but that's okay. I do need to wear a slip under it because it's pretty sheer. So that's that. The other thing I worked on and finished was this little skirt and the top that matches. And let me talk about the skirt first because it is adorable. This is Butterick 6304, and this is from 1988 also. Uh, did not do that on purpose. And what I love about this skirt is that it has tiers, but there's two tiers of tiers. And you have this, which lifts completely up, and there's a tier, and then this tier goes right over top. And it's very twirly and swirly and it feels great on. It has a wonderful elastic waistband. And I love that. Uh, it does not have pockets and I don't think that I will add them, but it's just so, so cute on. And it feels so switchy and fun. And uh, I wondered if it might be a little young, but I don't think it is. I think I can pull it off. And so that's the skirt. Now, one thing I do want to say is that this also has a little jacket and I think I might really like that. I've been thinking about it for a couple of days and thought, hmm, if I could find either something this color or um, something that coordinates, you know, uh, maybe one of the colors in the print, I think maybe that would be really cute. 
Okay, so then the top, this is the top, and uh, I love how it blends and makes it look like one thing. Uh, I don't need a belt. I can tuck this in and blouse it out and it looks great. This is Simplicity 8883. And I wanted to make View F, which has flounces that come down like this. You'll notice that this does not have flounces. And here's why. I cut the flounces and, you know, I was short on fabric as it was. And I did not realize I needed to cut two, uh, two for each side. So I only cut two. So I didn't have enough for the other side. I could have, um, decided to just only do the front. That would have been an option. I didn't think about that until much later. But what I did know is that I had some more of this blue. And so I thought, okay, well, that's what I did for the skirt when I didn't have enough fabric. So how about I do it for the top? So I did cut two flounces, very cute. Got the most perfect rolled hem. Took me a while to get there, but uh, I did get there. And so I put it on. And, uh, oh my goodness, it was the, the, let me see if I can kind of do this. It was all of this and all of this and all of that. And it was like, oh my goodness, no, 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 no. It's way too much. So I went ahead and took the flounces off and I was glad I did that. But these little uh, sleeves are meant to go under that flounce or those flounces. And so what happens is they just stick straight out and they don't work. So I think um, I do want sleeves. So I was wondering if maybe I could just take these and make like a petal sleeve out of them, you know, the kind that goes like that. So I'm gonna play with that idea. I don't know if that's what I wanna do or not. So yeah, so caveats. <laughs> outfits with caveats. So those are all the things that I made sewing like a maniac so that I could put them with my new shoes. So I got to start out by saying I am shoe challenged. I need a shoe intervention or shoe therapy or something because I have basically my tennis shoes, one pair of heels and 10 pairs of these, which are Clark's flip flops. These are all different colors, all of the different ones I have, and uh, that's what I wear on my feet all the time. All the time. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I just don't need other kinds of shoes, but at the same time, I don't wear a variety of shoes because I don't have them. So when Vivaya got a hold of me and said, hey, we would love for you to have a look at our shoes, try them out, see what you think, and talk about them, I said, okay, okay, I can, you know, maybe this will level up my shoe game. So I said yes, and I wanna tell you about them. I got three pairs and I am really happy with them. Can't believe I'm actually saying that because I, one of the reasons I'm shoe challenged is because I'm so picky about my shoes. But let me start out by telling you about Vivaya. Vivaya is a company that's located in London, but they make their shoes in China in a, a factory where they take care of their people. They really do. It's a very modern factory and they use very high levels of technology. And so I'm pleased with what I've read about where they are located and why they went there. Everything they make is from recycled materials, mainly um, bottles, mostly, you know, the two liter bottle of Coke that you get, that's the kind of bottle I'm talking about. But it's not just bottles that they use, they also use other recycled materials. Um, and I will direct you to their website for a list of those. Um, and they also use uh, natural materials like rubber and hemp and cotton and some other things like that. The, um, the weave of the actual shoe is recycled materials. All of their packaging is recycled materials. These people care a lot about their carbon footprint. And I think that that is to be uh, admired. I like that. So I really like their company. 
When you get their shoes, you get them in a box that looks like this. They care about packaging too, which a lot of companies do, but I liked that they cared about it. And they say, this is made from recycled materials and they talk to you about the stuff that's, you know, they use. They also sent along uh, two pairs of little bows to go on the shoes. There's one set that goes on the flats that they sent me. I had to choose the shoes and it took me a long time because I was overwhelmed with the selection because, you know, they'll, they have a lot of styles, but then they have so many colors and all kinds of you know, uh, variations on the style that they have, you know, uh, just the different colors and the different prints and the different, all the things, you know. So I opted for three pairs and I'll show you those. One is the pump. I, it's a kitten heel and it's got the coolest looking heel. It's like a teardrop. I just think that's so awesome. Um, what I love about these shoes, I love that this is breathable. I love that I can do this. I like the pointed toe, which is very much in fashion right now, but what I love about this pointed toe is that my feet are not cramped. These are so comfortable. And I'm a little shocked that I am not running into more trouble because my feet tend to be a little bit wide, not wide enough for a wide width shoe, but wide enough that often I will size up about like a half a size. And I didn't have to do that with these. Uh, one absolute critical necessity for me these days is I have to have a comfortable shoe with a little bit of arch support or a lot of arch support. And this has it. It's got this quilted padded insole. And the notable thing about that to me is the fact that the Via has listened to people who have reviewed their shoes and they've made changes to their shoes accordingly. People said, we need it to be, uh, have more arch support and we need an improved insole. And they went to the trouble to do that. I think that's another thing I like about this company. I like this company a lot. This right here is not tight on my foot. I think that's notable and they just look Good. They just look good on your feet. I mean, I think, I feel like I'm wearing runway shoes, you know, like I don't look like old lady, an old lady wearing, you know, low heeled shoes. I don't feel like that in these shoes. I feel very, very on trend. They sent me um, little bows to go with them. And I love the bows. You could make bows like this and just clip them on with alligator clips. Um, which would be very simple, but I just really, really like that. I, I They're breathable. Not only that, but there's give. There's give here because the fabric they're made out of, which is recycled bottles, it gives, it moves, it stretches. So that's one pair. This is the pair that I settled on first, I think. And it's just a pair of flats. This is the cutest pair of shoes. Now, I never would have thought that I would like these on my feet. They were just, you know, I thought, all right, let's just live dangerously and try them. They are adorable. Again, very nice cushioned insole and uh, rubber sole. They're, they're flat, they breathe, and these will do this. Do you have any shoes that'll do that? I mean, maybe your little ballet flats that, you know, are made to go in your purse or something, but these, I'll tell you, I just think these are the greatest thing. I mean, I'm cool now because I have cool shoes. This is a nice shoe, really nice shoe. And I am so impressed with the fit. I have to tell you this, they, I thought they were gonna pinch my toes and they don't. I just think that's amazing. And they just go with everything. Anytime I'm wearing denim, anything, I can wear these. These will go with this dress. They're just the perfect thing to just throw on and go run errands. I just, I love that. The other pair I will show you in photos, but um, my daughter Michaela liked them so much that she begged me to wear them to work today. So she's wearing them right now. 
but I got a very neutral color and with more of um, a squared off toe, uh, more of a rounded toe, but they, they come up with a little V. And I think that's so stylish. I love that. If I were going to buy more of these shoes, I would buy at least two more pairs of those because they are just so cute. And they feel like tennis shoes when you put them on. They're washable. You can, you know, bend them like, just like these. And I just think, I appreciate so many things about this company and I love the shoes. One thing that I will tell you is that with a pointed toe or a lot of toes, honestly, I will size up because of the wideness of my feet. Just that little bit of extra width in my foot. And what will happen is I walk right out of the shoe. So to be able to not be cramped in these shoes, not have my toes all bunching up, I think that's pretty. That's a pretty good trick. And I am glad that they're as snug as they are. They feel good on my feet and they are a little snug. And what I love about that is that later as I wear them, you know, as time goes on, they're gonna stretch and they're gonna still be comfortable, but they're not going to stretch out of shape so much that they don't fit my feet anymore. I like that. So do have a, follow the link in the description box and go have a look at their website. I think you'll really be impressed with the company but also, if you decide you like the shoes and you'd like to give them a try, then I have a discount code for you for 12% off. So give them a look, give them a try, and I think you'll really be pleased if you do uh, end up ordering a pair. I think, you know, um, good shoes are worth having. The kinds of shoes that you're going to keep for forever. These are not uh, the thrifted shoes that I get at Goodwill. These are not $25 shoes. These are nice shoes that I'm going to keep probably until they wear out. And I don't anticipate that that's going to be anytime soon. These are not cheap shoes. They're not cheaply made. That's what I mean. Uh, they're nice shoes. So give them a look. See what you think. If you want a pair and you want a discount, then uh, just use that code in the description box and um, get 12% off. Moving on to the question. Finally, I remembered to do the question of the week, which you will always find the question at Friday So Central on Facebook. It's a fun group and uh, we can talk about the question and we can also talk about sewing in general. So the question this week is pockets. What do you think about pockets? Are they a deal breaker for you? Because they are for me. And uh, what kind of pockets do you like? Do you like patch pockets or inseam pockets? Um, do you get creative with your pockets? I have done last week, I did a whole week of pockets and I did that for Project Dress a Girl because that's one way you can zhuzh up a dress is do a fun pocket. But I gotta tell you, I put all kinds of pockets on my dresses. I put, when I put patch pockets on, I don't always just do a plain patch pocket. Now, the dress I'm wearing has plain patch pockets. But I'll put a border at the top or a border all the way around, or I'll put a round pocket I recently did. I do tied pockets. I do, I wanna try the teardrop pockets that I made for these little girls' dresses. I think those would be kinda of cool. But uh, I'll put a list of those um, videos in the description box if you wanna have a look. But yeah, let me know what you think about pockets. I'm going to leave you with my little prayer card, which says, Shout with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. From Psalm 100, verses 1 and 2. Okay, how many of us, when we get good news, we go, yes! Yes! Oh, yay! How many of us do that? That is such joy. That is shouting with gladness. And that is what I like to do when I get overwhelmed with the goodness of God. I just go, ah, thank you, God. I don't know that I'm shouting at the top of my lungs, but this is not old Israel. Uh, but I'm often so happy and so glad and so thankful. And I just want to say out loud, loudly, thank you, God. So I'm sure there are times that you feel like that too. And that is what they're talking about. So, uh, 
that'll do it for Friday Sews. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Give those shoes a look and see what you think. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.